Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, solve these problems um, using uh, the data from swinging ship. Um, this, you know, you could call these a deviation card construction exercises. So <clears throat> in this, you're, get, you're asked some question, a question here, and you're also given this data. And this data came from swinging ship. So you got your uh, gyro compass headings and your simultaneous magnetic compass headings. Okay. And uh, we're going to be asked to find deviation of the magnetic compass when given something. So this first problem here is going to be when we're given a compass heading of 104. Okay. Now, the thing you want to realize here is before you start any of these is you want to uh, understand what they're giving you, what value they're giving you before you can enter this table. So this is compass heading, which is PSC, which means when I go into this table, I'm going to be looking for um a, a a pair here a couple of pairs here that bracket 104 psc so uh yeah i'm going to go through this psc column but i want you to bring your attention to something we flip this over and we go to uh question um uh seven they want to find the deviation on a gyro heading of 039 well that's pgc so in that case, we would be looking in the PGC column, and we would try to find the between 0, 3, 9, which would be these two. But anyway, um, and then oh, and, it, and here's yet even a third one where you're asked to go in with true. We don't even have true here. So, um, but let me just do this one here first. Okay, so, so we're given a compass heading of 104 PSC. So uh, you swung ship and compared the magnetic compass against the gyro compass. So the magnetic compass against the gyro compass. Uh, to find deviation. Gyro heading is 2 east, variation is 8 west, find the deviation on a magnetic compass heading of 104. So, what I'm going to need to do this is I got to write out my little get TVMDC thing here, okay? Uh, TVMDC, okay? So, now, when I'm going from true to a compass, okay, I'm going to be adding west and subtracting east. When I go true to a compass, I'm going to be, same thing, okay? I'm going to be adding west and subtracting east, okay? But when I'm going from a compass to true, all right, I'm going to be adding east and subtracting west. So if I'm coming from a gyro or my magnetic compass to true, I'll be adding east and, and subtracting west. So the rules uh, change direction at true. Okay, great. Now, what I'm going to do now is, is I've got to find... Um, I gotta find the number. Uh, I gotta find my brackets that uh, surround this 104. So first of all, 104 is a compass heading. So I gotta look in the 10 the PSC column. All right. So I'm gonna slide down here. Well, 104, 92. Okay, I passed 104. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna choose this pair and this pair. Okay, because they bracket the uh, 104. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna write 104 here. And what I'll do is, is I'm going to write in, I'm, so this is the, uh, the first pair, this is the second pair. I'm going to put the first pair at the top, I'm going to put the second pair at the bottom. I'm going to bracket this 104. So what do I have? I have PSC 092, that goes under C, so this is 092, and I have a gyro of 080, so that goes over here. Okay, great. Now I have a PSC of 122.5, so that goes over here. And I have a gyro of 110, so that comes over here. Great. Now, I got some other data. 2 east, that's my gyro error. 2 east, that's the same on all headings, so I can go ahead and put that in there. And 8 west for this geographic position on the Earth, wherever I am. Variation is constant, it's 8 west. All right, go to a different place, I'll have a different variation. All right, so now, the rules say I'm going from a compass to true, so I'm going to add east. So I got east, so I'm going to go 0, 8, 2. And this, I'm going to add east, that becomes 112. But now I'm going from true to a compass, and I add west. So i got to add this. So this becomes 0, 090, 0, and this becomes 120. Okay, great. Now, I'm ready to extract, uh, um, uh, calculate the deviation for these two, and then for these two. So 90 to 92, the difference was 2. And I had to add the 2 to go in this direction, so it's west. If I think about it going from 92 to 90, uh, I had to do subtraction, um, and that makes it west as well. But anyway, so 120 to 122.5, that difference is 2.5, and I was adding, so it's west. Okay, great. So now, 
I know that for 0, 0.92, my deviation was 2 west. I know that for 122.5, my deviation was 2.5. And 104 is between those two. As a matter of fact, 104 looks to me to be about halfway. 92 to 122, that's about 30 degrees. And 104 is about halfway between that. So I should have, my deviation is going to end up being halfway between these two. So it's going to be like 2.2, 2.3. I can just eyeball that right now. But I'm going to show you how to calculate it mathematically, setting up a proportion to do our interpolation. And here's what I'm going to do, okay? Um, I'm going to use a little formula. And the formula is going to go like this. Deviation plus or minus A over B times C. Okay. Now, A over B, that's division and multiplication. I got it by the rules of PEMDAS. I've got to do that stuff first. All right. Let me just, like, my parentheses is a little bit screwed up there. Okay. So let me just rewrite that. Times C. Okay. Now, when I do this, the deviation... Okay, is always going to be the dev. So I got this. The uh, I just calculated deviation. This is the top deviation and the bottom deviation. Okay, so I'm going to take the top deviation. So in this case, it's going to be two west. Okay, but anyway, we got to calculate a, b, and c. So what are those? We'll come back to that deviation thing in just a minute. What are a, b, and c? Well, uh, a is going to be the difference between. The, DV, uh, the heading I was given and this upper one here. So that's going to be A, okay? And uh, B is going to be the, uh, the difference between uh, 92 and 122.5. So when you do this, it's always going to end up being the same sort of uh, ratio here. That's B, all right? And then C is going to be the difference between these two. So this is A. The difference between those two is A. The difference between these two is B, and the difference between these two is C. So let's go ahead and calculate those now. A, B, C. So A is going to be 104 minus 92, and that's 12. B is going to be 122.5 minus 92, and that's going to be 30.5. And C is going to be 2.5 west minus 2 west, which is 0.5. Okay, great. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of substituting. Now, when I use this formula, okay, uh, the way I set this up, because I used uh, uh, the diff for A, because I used 92, all right, I didn't use 122.5. I got the difference between these two, not that these two. Because I used this to calculate my A, I have to use this as my deviation, okay? So don't go switching your pairs here. So I'm going to do it from the upper one. So that is going to be 2 west, okay? Because 92 was part of A, I'm going to take the deviation for 92. That's going to be this deviation, okay? It's not 2.5. Now, uh, I'm going to have to add or subtract this. Well, if what I'm looking for is going to be between these two, okay? then obviously, if I'm going to reference it off of here, it's got to be more, okay? Because the trend here is that I'm increasing 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, okay? So I'm going to add. Now I just do my substitution. A, 12, divided by 30.5 times 0.5, okay? And uh, when I do that, that becomes 2 west plus, and all this... Uh, basically becomes 0.2. So it's 2.2 west, and that is the answer.